Welcome to the Uber Eats platform. We're excited to have you on board. In this video, we will give you some tips on how to use the Uber Eats app, as well as how to troubleshoot some issues if they arise. Let's get started. Your tablet is your tool for accepting and managing orders through Uber Eats. Orders are received through the Uber Eats app, which is found on your home screen. To receive new orders, you'll need to have the app open, so it's best to keep your tablet on, plugged in, and connected to Wi-Fi during business hours. Log in with the username and password sent to your email. If you've forgotten your details or are having trouble logging in, don't worry, just email restaurants.anz at uber.com and our support team can help you out. Let's run through what an order looks like when it comes through the app. This is the restaurant dashboard home screen where you can accept and keep track of orders. Orders are categorized into four stages, which you can find on the left-hand side of the screen. These are new orders, orders in progress, orders ready for pickup, and order history. When a new order arrives from a customer, you'll hear a notification sound and see the number of incoming orders displayed. Tap anywhere on the screen to accept and see the full details. If you've interacted with the app in the past 90 seconds, new orders will pop up as a green bar in the New Orders tab. After accepting an order, it's important to check the following details. The type and quantity of items, any special notes for the order, including any toppings, custom requests or allergens, the estimated pickup time and the order number. In the Order Details screen, click Help to delay the order, make a price adjustment, directly contact your customer or cancel the order. Let's take a closer look at some of these scenarios. If there's an issue with an item your customer has ordered, you can contact them to confirm any changes that need to be made. If you need extra time to prepare the order, you can delay the pickup time by up to 30 minutes. However, you can only do this once per order. Please be aware that this increases the time your customer has to wait for their food, so you'll want to keep this to a minimum. If your customer adds any additional items in the special instructions section, you can adjust the price of the order. You must choose a reason for the price adjustment and we also recommend that you check with your customer before making any changes to the price of the order. If needed, you can also cancel the order through the help section as well. You will need to choose a reason for the cancellation and keep in mind that it may affect your customer's experience. When you're ready to confirm the order, Tap Confirm to move it to the In Progress tab. To view new incoming orders, tap back to the main dashboard screen. If you think that the order is too large for one delivery partner to carry, call our support team right away. We'll run through how to do that later. If the meal is prepared early, tap the Ready for Pickup button to request a delivery partner. Please be aware, this request cannot be cancelled and if done frequently, the default preparation time set in the Uber Eats app may automatically reduce, so you'll want to only use it when you need to. When you've confirmed the order, if there is an available delivery partner nearby, they will receive your delivery request to pick it up. If they accept your request, they will be on their way, so you'll want to make sure that you have everything ready to go by the indicated pickup time. Tap on the In Progress tab to see your orders and when they're due for pickup by your delivery partner. Each order in progress will display the pickup time next to the customer's name. The Ready for Pickup tab will show orders that are ready for delivery. Once a delivery partner has accepted your delivery request, you will see them on the right-hand side of the dashboard, along with the arrival time and orders they are collecting. Please note that there can sometimes be a delay in the delivery partner accepting your delivery request during busy hours of the day or during bad weather. Also, if two customers order from your restaurant at a similar time, the orders might be picked up by the same delivery partner. They will be able to show you both order numbers on their app. Once you've finished prepping an order, place it in appropriate packaging for delivery and check that the items are correct and that you haven't forgotten any. When the delivery partner arrives, their photo will be shown on the top right-hand side of the screen. They will show you the order number on their phone. We strongly recommend writing the order number directly on the bag and sealing it with stickers or tape. This is helpful for food safety and to preserve food quality. 
If using Uber Eats branded paper bags, you can learn more about how to order additional bags on our FAQ page. Tap the Order History tab to see a list of the orders that are in the process of being delivered and past orders on the Uber Eats platform. You can tap on any of these orders to see more details. If an order has been cancelled by a customer or your delivery partner after the food has left your store, it will be displayed as cancelled in the Order History section. If an order is cancelled after you have accepted the order, you will be paid for it. You can also rate your delivery partners here, so please give them a thumbs up or down based on your experience. This feedback helps to improve users' experience on the platform. If you are concerned about an interaction you've had with a delivery partner, you can reach out to our support team at restaurants.anz at uber.com. If you need to temporarily pause incoming orders, for example, if you're very busy in store, you can do so by pressing the pause button on the bottom right of the main menu screen. Select the amount of time and the reason why you would like to pause new orders. During this time, your restaurant will be shown as currently unavailable in the app and your customers will not be able to order from you. The selected time will count down on the screen and your restaurant will automatically be made available after this reaches zero. You can start accepting orders again at any time by tapping resume in the red bar at the bottom of the tablet. Please note that if you would like to change the hours your restaurant is available on the platform, you can edit this through the tablet by going to the main menu and selecting hours. Choose the menu you would like to edit the hours for from the drop-down list and click edit on the bottom right-hand side of the screen. After that, you can choose the day, start and end times for the menu you have selected. Make sure to save your changes when you are done. If you ever need to take additional days off, you can set holiday hours via the hours section as well. Tap the holiday hours button, then add a date. If you just want to be closed for a certain number of hours, unselect close all day and choose the appropriate open and close times. Make sure to tap submit when you are done so these changes save. If you need to mark certain items or toppings as sold out, you can do so from the main menu by tapping menu availability. To change the availability of a menu item, tap the eyeball icon next to it and set to available, sold out today or sold out indefinitely. Items marked as sold out today will automatically be marked as available on the next trading day and items marked as sold out indefinitely will remain unavailable until you return them to available. You can also mark toppings or side items as sold out but please be aware that this will make this item unavailable across your entire menu. If you ever need help, tap the three lines in the top left-hand side of the screen. Click the icon of the phone in the bottom left if you're having an issue with a live order and need to reach us quickly. You can also go into the help section on the main menu where you can choose the most applicable issue and we'll help you from there. This is also where you can access messages from Uber. Remember, you can always check our FAQ guide in the help section and review how to use the app with the how-to guide, where you can often find answers to commonly asked questions. For any other support not related to live orders, please send us an email at restaurants.anz at uber.com. Make sure you've entered your payment details into Restaurant Manager. Payments are processed weekly on Tuesday and should be in your bank account by Friday but it can vary based on your bank. If you notice any issues with your payments, please email our support team. Still have questions about how to use the Uber Eats platform? No worries. Simply head to t.uber.com forward slash ANZ restaurant FAQ, where we'll answer your most frequently asked questions. So that's it from us. We are excited to have you on board.